Hey, it's Jaime with Echo Real Estate Advisors. Today we're going to cover another lead generation strategy. So we've all heard landing pages. We've all been hearing about squeeze pages. We've been hearing about funnels. We've been hearing the importance of having those. And we've traditionally we've been uh, hearing about the importance of having a website altogether. So whether you're using WordPress or you're using Squarespace, Wix, um, single property single property websites or single property generators what have you there's a lot of opportunities out there for you to have an online presence today we're gonna to cover something very basic very simple that chances are you already have at your disposal so depending on the association or the MLS that you're with you probably already have this so with me I'm in the Dallas Fort Worth area and I'm a member of Metrotex and what I'm referring to is a cloud CMA. So a cloud CMA, it's if you've been in the industry for a little while, you, you know what a CMA stands for, a comparative market analysis. And a cloud just essentially means that it's on the cloud, it's um, on online, and it's not a software or anything else like that. So chances are you already have access to this. And when you click on that, on your on your dashboard, you're going to have all of the widgets or all of the buttons to get to them. If you're using Remind or if you're using Instanet for all of your documentation, digital signatures, and transaction management, a whole host of things. Um, uh, even a cloud, a cloud um, MLS. So a cloud CMA is something that you can be using right now to be capturing leads. So I'll show you what it looks like. This is what the back end looks like. And you go to settings. And we're going to go to lead gen. And we are going to take the link to the website, which is customized to you. And we're going to open up another tab. And this is a customized landing page. Effectively, that's what it is. If you've been hesitant about going out and getting a landing page or creating your own website or what have you, this is a very simple way for you to get an online presence or if somebody's wanting their home valuation, you just shoot them that link. It's a great idea to put it on your email signature. And any advertising that you're running, you don't have to go out and create a unique landing page even though it's very simple. And there's other videos in this channel that talk about it and really show you step by step how to do that but you also don't need to have a full website if you don't want to although I highly 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 encourage you to have some sort of online presence whether that be a traditional website or a landing page um, you need one and this is for those folks that either are very hesitant to get the the website and or want to complement their landing pages or websites so they can optimize their lead generation so at the end of the day this is a huge tool that you can be leveraging for lead generation especially when you're running paid ads this is what it looks like you can you can customize it to whatever you like you can put your picture there I put my logo um, your contact information and one important thing to note is that it is connected to your local MLS. So uh, again, I'm in Texas. So anybody wanting to get a CMA for New York or California, anywhere outside of the MLS, then it's not going to work. So that's a very important thing to note, especially when you're running advertising or tr paid traffic to the website that's not within your MLS um, service. I don't. I don't know why you would do that unless you're you're helping others with their marketing, but just know that that is a limitation. So this is tied to your local MLS, and that's what will be reflected. When people go on here, they're just gonna input their uh, they're gonna put their address. Uh, let's just this is one that I'm familiar with.
and then they're going to find it. You put they're going to be putting their name, their email, their phone, and then this um, the square footage of their home, and an email is sent or a report is sent to their email. Now, the CMA, it just pulls information. It's not a detailed CMA, a detailed CMA that you would provide to your client. It's more of pulling in all of the information. It's not going to compare like to like properties. It's going to pull everything, whether it was a million dollar home sale right down the street or, or down the block versus a $150,000 home sale. It's just going to pull everything. So it is a value add from a, hey, presenting all this information to the client, but understand that it has some limitations. And those limitations are actually to your benefit when people input their information to get that cloud CMA. You certainly want to follow up with them because you will get an email notification as it's a new lead. You can reach out to them and start that conversation. Hey, there's a lot of information. Information. Let me help you digest it. Let me help you walk you through it. So that's the functionality of the CMA. This is what it, um, again, this is what the interface looks like. Oops, it went away, didn't it? This is what the interface looks like. It can be, again, you can embed the code, which is right here. This is the, the link that you can embed it in your landing page. You can embed it in your website. You can embed it um, in your email signature. Anywhere, anywhere, anywhere that you want to capture some um, additional leads or anywhere that has a direct-to-consumer um, communication, you certainly want to optimize that opportunity to start that conversation. You are providing value to them because, again, you are providing all that information of recent sales and pull that in. Just understand to your benefit that it's not a like for like and they will need to, the client that is, the client will need to interact with you in order to really get the best, um, best bang for their buck as there is a good amount of follow-up that you will need to do in order, let me rephrase that, there is follow-up that you need to do in order to interpret it, interpret that CMA for them as the finished result is not as detailed as you would provide. So going into how to actually do it, it's very simple. There's two ways to actually um, put it on your, on your website. One is a direct link, and we all know how to do a hyperlink. So I'm going to go over to my Squarespace website and show you what that looks like. If you have Squarespace, great. If not, uh, if you're using WordPress or if you're using Wix or if you're using landing page generators like lead pages, Instapage, ClickFunnels, uh, whatever the case may be, it's going to work very similar. So here I added a button, which is very simple to do. You just go to button and it's going to ask you where do you want it to click through. You're going to put the URL that you want it to click through and it's created a button. And there you go. That's as simple as it can be. Or if you want to do a hyperlink, for, for as an example, if you wanted this trusted text to, uh, to lead directly to your Cloud CMA, you would just copy and paste that URL. So going back to the settings, this is a link. So this is a hyperlink that you can... This is a link that you can embed with a, a hyperlink or use as a hyperlink. And you're very, your chances are that you're familiar with it. But another way of putting it on your website is through a widget or a script. Um, the name, the technical name ex escapes me right now. But if you have a WordPress website, I suggest you watch their video. It's, it's quite good. But if you want to do it on Squarespace and the end result, I'm not too impressed with what we just did. That, even though we did very little formatting, looks considerably better than what they provide. Uh, but we'll, I'll show you how to do that right now as well. Again, depending on the platform that you use, if you have WordPress, they have the video. If you have Wix, it may look a little bit different. 
if you have a landing page generator, it may it, a script will be read differently and will need to be input a little bit differently. I'm not a coder. I'm not going to pretend to be, but um, just understand that a lot of the principles that you're going to see here are are very transferable. So I would go to embed, and then I'll input the script over here. I'm going to put set. I'm going to put apply, and then I'm going to press save. Then we we go to our website. So you can see it's not there right now. I'm going to refresh it, and if we did it right, it shows up. So there's that hyperlink that once we click, it's going to go, oops, did I not save it? Let's solve that right now. Copy and paste the URL. Come back over here. Edit. Uh huh. Going to go to external, apply, save. We're going to come over here and refresh. And there you go. Now you can have it open in another in another tab as well. So it doesn't have to it doesn't have to replace what you're seeing here. But you can also go with the button. Again, the button, it's not even with my color, so I and I just don't like it. So you can do something much better, regardless if you have WordPress, regardless if you have Wix or whatever site, um, whatever platform is hosting your website, you can do much better. Chances are you are going to do much better. But then when you go to the widget that they provide, there you go. So again, Kyle Time, if you, um, if you want to increase your lead generation from any opportunity that you have with your clients, every email that you're sending, even if it's to um, uh, vendors, title companies, lenders, ran oh, not random, email marketing, it just provides that opportunity to have that conversation and for people to click through so they can see the value of their home because it is a, it's, it's a free service and it's of value for them to get a general perspective on what the what the home the home is worth and beyond that you get that lead again all the information that they're requesting is the name the email the phone and the square footage as well to give them a, a perspective but once you get once they input that information they are going to get the report however you get an email notification that that happened and that's when you start putting them on that email drip campaign and reach out to them as quickly as possible and start converting leads.